Riverside at 10 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Karen Lair. Tonight's big story, thinking outside the box and learning outside the classroom. A group of Boise State students stepping in to assist the old Idaho State Penitentiary in efforts to research the remains of past inmates. Six on your side's Anna Silver joins us live in studio to explain. Yeah, that's right, Karen. Members of the Boise State Geophysics Club helped gather information today to find out how many unmarked graves could be at the Old Penn Cemetery. And they did it all without lifting a single shovel. Several gravestones at the Old Idaho Penitentiary Cemetery are marked as unknown. When they did bury a lot of these men, they did it with wood markers, which you know, over time were deteriorated. Boise State and the Idaho Historical Society are working to find out how many people are buried there and where they are. Well, I was very curious about who was buried out here and their stories and, you know, why? Why were they left out here? And some of these men, they were in for crimes that were so heinous that their families, they didn't want anything. They didn't want them to be buried elsewhere. But others, they were un under aliases. They didn't have families. Uh, so I have spent several years researching the cemetery and who's buried out here and, and why to uncover those stories. Perry says there is at least 55 confirmed graves here at the cemetery, but there could be up to 66. Using special equipment, BSU Geophysics Club students are volunteering their time to help find out. The ground penetrating radar, it essentially pushes a frequency into the ground and then anything that reflects backwards, anything that's out, out of the ordinary uh, from the soil around it, um, including a casket, you know, a pine box, uh, that, that'll pop up as a little blip. Perry says the students are also using a tool that's like a high-tech metal detector to find any changes in the magnetic field. Tools that will hopefully uncover the stories of the unknown. This is one of these mysterious uh, aspects of our of our history that didn't have a lot of scholarship behind it. And uh, we've we have had family members who have reached out to us that know that their relatives are buried here. And so they wanted to know more information about it as well. Now, he says it could take several weeks to get any results back from Boise State. The Idaho State Historical Society is working to collect donations so they can make a placard with the names of the individuals. In studio, Anna Silver, six on your side. Well, turning to weather now, Steve Lee.